Betco, the name to count on for better resources in chemicals, equipment, programs, process, and achieving continuously better results for over 50 years. Betco, creating better resources for facilities maintenance professionals. Betco Resources and Process Management Training Library, expanding competencies for cleaning professionals. Proper disinfection in an educational facility is extremely important to limit and control the growth of harmful microorganisms and the spread of infection and disease. Thorough cleaning and disinfection helps decrease absenteeism of students and teachers and ensures a healthier environment. You play an important role in the health and safety of your facility. By learning and practicing the proper disinfecting procedures and knowing how these procedures affect cleanliness, you become vital in the well-being of the people around you. This training module, which is one in the Betco Resource and Process Management RPM series, focuses on proper disinfection procedures and recommendations within educational facilities, including universities, schools, and daycare settings. The purpose of this overview is to provide a basic knowledge on what types of surfaces should be disinfected and how often. It is important to remember that this module addresses disinfecting common surfaces and locations. It does not cover complete cleaning applications or techniques for the entire room or surface. This module will cover types of disinfectants, safety precautions, preparation, disinfecting recommendations for the following locations, classroom, nurse's office, infirmary, locker rooms and showers, cafeteria, gymnasium, stairway, hallways, drinking fountains, and summary. Betco has over 300 specialty cleaning products and a full line of equipment and accessories. We recommend using Quatstat, broad spectrum disinfectant, excellent for meeting the requirements of OSHA bloodborne pathogen standard, Glybet disinfectant spray, and Winning Hands premium antibacterial hand cleaner. A disinfectant is an agent that destroys or inhibits the growth of disease-causing microorganisms. Most hospitals require disinfectants that are specifically tested and effective for killing certain harmful bacteria. It is important to understand the different types of disinfectants that are available. The most popular types of surface disinfectants are synthetic phenols, quaternary ammonium products, commonly referred to as quats, chlorine, also called bleach, iodine, and alcohol. The workbook that accompanies this training contains more information on types of disinfectants. Disinfecting reduces the risk of cross-contamination. Most germs must hitchhike to get around, and since we touch so many surfaces throughout the day, the likelihood that we will pick up germs is virtually guaranteed. Be aware that a microorganism can hitchhike in various ways. Skin to skin, on materials such as laundry or sponges, droplets from coughing and sneezing, airborne dust particles, food and water, as well as insects or animals are all ways infectious microorganisms can be transmitted. Before beginning with any cleaning task, be sure that you fully understand how to use the chemicals and equipment required for the job. It is mandated by OSHA that every employee has a right to know about the possible chemical hazards within their workplace. A material safety data sheet, commonly called an MSDS, will provide information regarding the chemicals within your building. Read and understand the MSDS, as well as the product label for every product that you use. Your supervisor will show you where to find your MSDS information and will also help you to read and understand each sheet. Be careful not to use cleaning chemicals on any surface for which they are not intended. Be especially cautious when using acid cleaners. Never mix chemicals. It could cause serious or even fatal injury. Practice universal precautions when cleaning any blood or body fluid spills or soiled materials that could contain these or other potentially infectious substances. Refer to OSHA's bloodborne pathogen standards for more information.
Betco provides a bloodborne pathogen training module within the RPM Training Library series. Accidents will be limited when the proper caution signs are posted prior to cleaning, such as wet floor signs. Always wear the proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, to protect yourself from exposure to cleaning chemicals. Gloves and a mask or goggles will prevent chemical splashes from coming into contact with your skin and eyes. One of the best ways to reduce cross-contamination, besides proper disinfection, is frequent hand washing. The physical action of hand washing will greatly reduce the number of bacteria on the skin and reduce the chances of cross-contamination. The less contamination, the healthier the environment. Be sure to thoroughly wash your hands after every cleaning task. Gather the proper equipment for the cleaning tasks planned for the day. Load the cart with all cleaners that will be needed. Be sure that the correct dilution rates are used according to manufacturer's recommendations. Betco chemical management systems ensure that dilution rates are correct and makes your job faster and easier. Always prepare disinfectant solutions fresh daily in order to ensure their effectiveness. Remember these tips before beginning your cleaning. Clean from top to bottom, bringing soil to the lowest level as you go about your routine. When wiping, clean in a consistent pattern, such as up and down, then back and forth, to ensure that you cover an entire surface. Be sure to overlap your strokes. When cleaning a room, begin at the door and work clockwise around the room. This will make certain that you don't overlook an area. For proper disinfection, most disinfectants require anywhere from 30 seconds to a 10-minute contact time. Always follow the manufacturer's label instructions and be sure to apply the required contact time for all disinfectant cleaning throughout this module. Before disinfecting, it may be necessary to remove any gross filth, such as soap and scum, rust or graffiti, with an appropriate cleaning product for the job. Following Betco's RPM recommendations, these areas in a classroom or office should be cleaned with a disinfectant using a damp wipe procedure at least once a week. Doorknobs, push plates, and handrails. Non-porous desktops, tabletops, and chairs. Sinks and fixtures. Phones. Be sure not to spray directly on the unit. Wipe with a damp cloth the inside and outside of trash receptacles. If in the classroom or daycare setting, toys, cots, mats, or other items come into contact with children's hands or mouths, please refer to the manufacturer's recommendations for cleaning or laundering. Referring to Betco's Resource and Process Management, or RPM, recommendations, clean the entire infirmary with a disinfectant solution. Spray disinfectant on a clean cloth or sponge and wipe all hard, non-porous surfaces. Spot clean walls, lights, and doors as needed. Wipe the inside and outside of the trash receptacle with disinfectant after removing the waste. Cleaning cloths or sponges should be changed frequently to avoid cross-contamination. As an additional precaution, use a disinfectant spray such as Glybet on areas that people touch, such as doorknobs, push plates, and handrails. Post wet floor caution sign and wet mop the floor with disinfectant solution. Begin from farthest corner and work toward the door. Be sure to wash your hands when through. According to Betco's RPM recommendations, the following areas in locker rooms and showers should be cleaned with a disinfectant on a daily basis by using a spray wipe procedure. Shower stalls and fixtures, sinks and fixtures, towel dispensers, toilets, urinals, door knobs and handles, benches. It is recommended to daily disinfect all hard floor surfaces using a mop or auto scrub method. Other periodic disinfecting procedures include walls, lockers, grout scrubbing. For more information on restroom cleaning procedures, refer to Betco's Resource and Process Management Restroom Sanitation Training Module. Based on Betco's RPM recommendations, the following areas in a cafeteria setting should be cleaned with a disinfectant on a daily basis using a damp wipe procedure. Non-porous tabletops and horizontal surfaces chairs and benches, doorknobs and handles, 
trash receptacles, vending machines. On a periodic basis, clean the walls with a disinfectant. Be sure not to use disinfectant on any areas that come directly in contact with food. A sanitizer, such as Betco's Sanibet, should be used to clean food prep areas. It is suggested by Betco's RPM recommendations that the following areas be cleaned with a disinfectant on a daily or weekly basis. Workout and exercise equipment, door handles, handrails. When cleaning exercise mats, follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Betco's RPM recommends that the following areas be cleaned with a disinfectant on a daily basis. Door handles, handrails, and other surfaces that are constantly touched by people. By wiping and cleaning commonly touched surfaces on a daily basis, the spread of germs is greatly reduced, which allows for a healthier environment. Using Betco's RPM recommendations, all drinking fountains should be disinfected on a daily basis by wiping all parts of the fountain, including the exterior. Operate the fountain briefly to flush any of the disinfectant solution out of the fountain head. Proper disinfection is extremely important to limit and control the growth of germs that spread infection and disease. Understand product labels and MSD sheets. Prepare disinfectant solutions fresh daily to ensure their effectiveness. Practice universal precautions when cleaning blood or body fluid spills. Always wear the proper personal protective equipment. Thoroughly wash your hands after cleaning. Clean from top to bottom. Clean in a consistent pattern. Begin at the door and clean clockwise when cleaning rooms. Allow the appropriate contact time when disinfecting. Continually change cloths and sponges to avoid cross-contamination. Know your daily and weekly cleaning disinfecting procedures. The service you provide is very important to the well-being of students, staff, visitors, and yourself. Be proud of the skills you're developing and know that you truly make a difference in creating a clean and healthy environment.